Now, I had a great time tonight. Tonight, I went to the movies. I saw the film Cop Shop, starring Gerard Butler, Frank Grillo, and Alexis Louder, who's the star of the film. I just wanted to, for maximum impact, Alexis Louder. She's the star of the film. Co-written and directed by Joe Carnahan, who also did a film I enjoy a great deal, Smoke and Aces. And this film kind of reminds me of Smoke and Aces. Sort of, kind of, just kind of like as far as like vibe and everything. But honestly, Cop Shop is a superior film. It's a great fucking film. And if you have the opportunity to see it in theaters, like I did, go see Cop Shop. But if you don't have that opportunity and you have to wait for it to come to video streaming or whatever, or maybe it's already, I mean, it's, it's a smaller film, so maybe it's already streaming. Check it out. Cop Shop. It's dope. I'm telling you. I know, Randy, I know you said that the creators disavowed it after studio interference or whatever, and I will admit the ending could use, could have used some editing. It was a little, the ending was a little, uh, <laughs> but overall it is a fantastic film. But then after I, after I saw it, I was just like, I have time. I have time and I want to do something and just see what was what. I walked into a spot that I'd been hearing about for a very long time, only to discover that I wa walked into the wrong spot. <laughs> still had a drink there, still talked to folks there. It was cool. It was cool. But then I went into the proper spot. I went into the right spot. And let me tell y'all, I had such a good time. I had such a good time. It was wild. Wild I met people, talked to people, exchanged information, made some new friends. And the thing about it is, like, this is this is what I've missed. And one of the big things that I hate that the pandemic took away from us was this kind of ability to just go out and meet new people and be comfortable around people. I really hate that we've reached a point to where we are so afraid to interact with other people and the whole kind of like mask thing and blah and 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 i don't want to turn this into a mask thing but i am going to say this i get it i was always mr mask mask mandate wear your mask and i am still i'm still there i still i i feel you i get it but i also feel like the whole mask thing is just so weird because like we're talking about shit like restaurants where people have to take their masks off. Talking about movie theaters where people want to enjoy their popcorn. We're talking about bars where people are drinking. It's just like, I mean, the moment you take your mask off, you negate the entire purpose of wearing masks. Like COVID isn't gonna be like, oh shit, they're eating popcorn now. Let me, let me just chill out for a minute or anything like that. So it's just like, I get it, but... So anyway, you know, just being free in a place. And I mean, these places that I were in, I was in tonight. Look, man, yeah, masks weren't a thing. But I'm gonna tell you what was a thing: people talking, people getting to know each other. I met some incredible people. I gotta say tonight. You know, my bartender. She's from Miami. She loves New York. We built on that shit. I talked to a young man who's written an opera, and and the opera is scheduled to perform next spring i was just like this sounds dope and i want to be in the audience i met so many other people i just you know it's it's incredible like i tonight i probably m made like five new five new friends <laughs> and that's just what i miss that's that's what i miss and that's what i want to get back to y'all that's what i want to get back to also i was tweeting pretty heavily before well before my phone died for those of y'all who've been following me on twitter for a while y'all know my catchphrase was my phone gonna die and that was because the battery on the iphone sucks and i would never have a chance to power it up and even though now we live in an era where 
it's quite easy to charge an iPhone and blah, blah, blah. I occasionally find myself in situations where my phone dies, and that happened tonight. My phone died. I didn't charge it up, but because I didn't charge it up and I didn't have my phone out to continue to tweet and, and Instagram and do all that shit, I made some new friends. You see how the universe works? But I'm going to use this shit and charge my phone on the way home. Then I'm going to... try to edit this video so that I can get it up on YouTube at, um, at, at, so I can get it up on YouTube. <laughs> And then take my ass to sleep because I got a busy day tomorrow. And I got to get gas. But I want to say thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I really do. It's not, a, it's not a joke. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching.